has traction control altered how you ride the bike, if at all, from before it was implemented? Hmm. Um, how do I answer that question? What I think, do I think it's made the motorcycle easier to ride? No. Um, the thing that it has, the thing that it has done is made um, made it easier to conserve tyres for a race and things like that. Um, because once you have a setting in the traction control, it's never going to go past that um, parameter. So. Um, whereas you know, without the traction control, you get halfway into a race, and the you know you start spinning the tire or whatever, and then you got to start using your hand a lot more to, to keep out of that. So, as far as easy to ride, it's not the right word, or easier to ride is not the right word, and it hasn't made them easier because they're still very very hard motorcycles to ride. It's made it easier to uh, maybe strategize for a race, as a, and and to know that you may be going to have a little bit more left later in the race than what you would without it. Can you adjust yours as you go through the race, up and down, turn it on and off? Yep, certainly can. Do I? No. Don't do it. Um, simply because sometimes, you know, traction controls are, you know, it, 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 it's a, it's a funny, it's a funny, um, f- funny little scenario. But you know, you probably remember two years ago or three years ago when. Traction control was we were, apparently Suzuki were cheating and had traction control for everyone else, and uh, I, I believe it was at Miller or Laguna, no, Laguna Seca 2005, possibly 2006. Laguna Seca 2006 that uh, they uh, opened up the rule for every, you know, saying okay, traction control is now legal, and uh, apparently everyone else then got traction control that we already had, and since that day um, Suzuki's won 41 races straight, and nobody else has won anything. So, you know. The most it's not the magic pill. <laughs> well, the thing is, is that what a lot of people don't understand is that is that traction control is just another part of the motorcycle that needs to be tuned, like the rest of the motorcycle, to go fast. So, and the teams who are good at getting things done quickly, and and the teams who have the better riders and the better personnel will always get things sorted out quicker than the next people so it just so happens that when we got traction control at that time we got on top of it pretty quick and the gap between everybody else has now gotten bigger than what it was back then so you know it's a very very hard it's very very hard to get it right and you know people think oh the bike's spinning so you use more traction control it's not always the case. It has a lot depends on the racetrack that you're at. Depends on the type of traction that's on the surface. Because, um, as a scenario, you're spinning the you're spinning the rear wheel. There's a reason why you want to spin the rear wheel. Sometimes that is to get the bike to turn better on the exit. Um, sometimes you don't want the rear wheel to spin, but sometimes you need it to spin. If you can't get the bike turned, you need to get a little bit more throttle into it and get it to spin so you can get the thing turned off a, uh, or, or turned, you know, on the exit. So I give you the scenario, so all of a sudden I I'm start spinning the bike more than what I want to halfway through the race, so I go up one setting in the traction control and the bike doesn't spin anymore, how am I going to get a turn now? So it's not that easy, it's a very, very hard thing to adjust correctly and to have adjusted correctly for the whole race. And uh, there's certain racetracks we go to now that we essentially turn it off because we're quicker with it off. So, not that anybody would probably believe that, or or, or um, anybody anybody else does that now, because I can hear a lot of the bikes out there and how much traction control they're using, and sometimes I laugh, thinking you guys are slowing yourselves down now. Yeah. So, not not easy not easy thing to tune, um, especially in our sport or in racing in America, for instance. We don't have unlimited budgets. We have good budgets in racing. They spend a lot of money racing in America, the factories, but we don't have five, six people, ten people back in the truck tuning in just electronics. Each rider essentially has one guy each that tunes electronics but also does all the data and everything else, so that's not enough time to get on top of traction control. It's not enough personnel, it's not enough time to get on top of it properly, so you're trying to do it halfway, forget about it. So very, very hard, very, very hard. It's a complicated piece and it's another part that 
a person has to put together. But it is, it is, if anything, it's it's an interference more so than it is good if you screw it up. If you screw it up, and you know, so the magic pill that was two years ago, I think everyone's realised that's not a magic pill.